Hello everybody, we're bringing you another Neptic Fathers video and today we thought that it'd be good to go over some of the um, traditions for orthodoxy and speaking in tongues. A lot of people ask this question online and wonder what's the orthodox position on speaking in tongues and when I first started researching this, I actually didn't think that I'd find out a whole lot of information, maybe just one or two testimonies, but I've actually found a lot of stuff. And so today we're going to go over uh, St. Pacomius, and this is uh, Stories of the Holy Fathers, I think. And I, I'm pretty sure that this is in the public domain. And so he's going to, uh, Evan is going to go ahead and read the story, so that way you all get the story. <clears throat> Chapter 15. Of the gifts of the tongues which Pacomius received. And it came to pass that, when the blessed Pacomius was visiting the brethren in their cells, and was correcting the thoughts of each of them, he was obliged to visit a certain Roman, who was a nobleman of high rank, and who knew the Greek language very well. Now therefore, having come to this great man, so that he might extort him with words which were beneficial to him, and might learn the motions of his heart, the blessed man spake unto him in the Egyptian tongue, but the brother did not know what the blessed man said. And because the blessed man did not know how to speak Greek, Rabba was obliged to call some brother who would be able to interpret to each of them the things which were said by the other. Now when the brother came to interpret, the Greeks did not wish to declare the Rabba through the other defects of his heart. And he spoke unto him thus, After God I wish thee and thee alone to know the wickedness of my heart, and I do not desire to declare them unto thee through others, for I do not wish that any man except thee should hear them. And when Rabba heard these words, he commanded the brother who had come to interpret to depart, because Rabba was unable to speak to the Greek brother the words which he wished to say to him about help and redemption, for he knew nothing whatsoever of the Greek language. He made a sign to him with his hand to remain until he came back to him. Then Rabba left him, and let, went to pray by himself, and he stretched out his hands toward heaven, and prayed to God, saying, O Lord, thou mighty one, who sustainest the universe, if I am not able to benefit the child of men, whom thou dost send unto me from the ends of the earth, because I am not acquainted with their languages, what need is there for them to come? But if thou wishest them to be saved here through me, give me, O Lord, thou star of all creation, the power to know their language so that I may be able to set their souls in a straight way. And when he had prayed for more than three hours and entreated God to grant him this knowledge, suddenly there was sent from heaven unto his right hand something which was like unto a letter written on paper. And when he had read it, he learned immediately how to speak all tongues. And he sent up praise to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. And when he came with great joy to that brother and began to talk with him in both Greek and Latin, with such fluency that when the brother heard him, he said that Rabba's skill in speaking Greek surpassed that of all of the learned men of the day. Then Rabba corrected him, as was right, and appointed him in penance was suitable to his defects, and he committed him to the Lord and went forth from him. This is just one of the examples of the many that we found. To me, what's also interesting in this book is that, that uh, it said there that he was able to learn how to speak all languages so with the different accounts, we're able to piece together kind of the orthodox tradition of what speaking in tongues is. And we'll go into that further as we produce more videos. So something about this, um, about this book, although this is, um, this is uh, by, let's see, the author here, uh, Ernest uh, Budge, and it's the paradise of, uh, I think it's Palladius. Um, it goes under a couple different names. I think it's a uh, Lausiac history is how you say it, but uh, that's what this collection is. So if you all want to actually check the source yourself, you should be able to find the, uh, this somewhere online in the public domain, or you can just uh, search online on Amazon or Abe books or a Libris. So that's all we have for you. And we'll come with, uh, come out with some more videos of the sources and also the different accounts. Thanks.